So I decided to start vlogging again. Um, I'm in Denver. Today is day one of back in the gym. It's been three weeks. Dear Lord. Um, Jesus be a muscle cell. My pickup is 4.05. Good news is I have one leg to Atlanta and then we deadhead to Indianapolis. So it's gonna be a pretty easy day tomorrow like it was today. Y'all, I'm so excited to be vlogging again. Like what? I stopped vlogging for a second because I don't know if you watched the, I don't know when, what's gonna go up first, but in my product review um, for my new blow dryer, I told y'all that I lost my little memory stick. So I had to buy a new one. Y'all, I need to freak out for like two seconds. This, I have been looking for this for like four months. I stopped vlogging because of this. I could not find this. This has so much footage. You know where I found it? In a work bag that I don't even use anymore. In the back pocket, in the corner, all the way. I was minding my business. And I was like, you know, I have a turn tomorrow. Let me just use my tote bag that I never use, my city tote. Okay. And I was like, let me check all the pockets. Let me see, you know, make sure everything is all empty and stuff. And this comes slurting, slurting out like, bro, where have you been, my guy? Like, you are the hide and seek champ. God damn. It's been four months. Four months. I even bought a new one. I bought a red one. Maybe the footage. So my first vlog that I posted, by the time I have this up, um, the first vlog had already been posted in a while. So there's like certain parts of the, the vlog that I couldn't even use because it was just completely black and I had no footage, so, you know, backup footage, none of that. So I'm like, damn. So there's like weird random things that don't kind of go together, but they kind of go together, <laughs> whatever. So, oh my God. Hey, Miss Pearly, girl, you look. <laughs> I'm not gonna re-edit the vlog, I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, cause I'm done, I finished it. I cut it down to like an hour. <laughs> Just wanted to say. <laughs> All right, bye. Good news is I didn't know that I put most of the vlog stuff on my iCloud, so <laughs> I could have been vlogging this whole time. And also I'm vlogging on my phone. So, Ooh, don't look at the, oh. I'm vlogging on my phone. So it's kind of hard to like um, use my phone. I have to use it for music in the gym. And then also, um, you know, phone calls, text messages, just normal stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to vlog on the phone. Um, it was supposed to be sunny out in Denver, but it is very much not that. Um, so I was gonna do my cardio out there, but mm, it's giving treadmill. <laughs> it's it's giving jumping jacks in the gym. If I'm actually gonna spend an extended amount of time in the gym today, just, and I'm gonna pace myself, so that's how I know I'm gonna spend a while because I'll probably do like 20 minutes of um, power walking in the beginning, a little bit of stretching. Um, I'll do lighter weights but um, more reps that just want to like ease back into it. Cause I know when I go hard, <laughs> your girl be going hard, okay? Can't feel her legs, can't feel her arms. Whatever I worked on the day before, the two days before, won't be able to feel it for like three days. So, but I'm starting to lose my little booty that I had. Like, there's not much going on. There's not much going on back there no more. But what I did notice is I love doing the, um, the pull downs, I guess is what it's called. And then rows, y'all, this right here, this muscle, that muscle right there, boy, <laughs> it got big quick. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we're gonna have to stop those workouts. We're gonna have to do something else with the arms, but I really wanted my back to be nice. So I may have to do like the, you know, when you go like this in your, so I may have to do those instead of like the pull downs. Cause girl, 
I was looking like a, like a, like a linebacker. Okay. Oh, headphones. I kind of feel bad because I asked for these headphones for Christmas and my mom definitely got them for me. The Beats Solo, the Studio 3, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. The thing is, they're so comfortable like on the plane. I like wearing them on the plane because when you wear your AirPods on the plane, where do they end up? In the cracks and crevices of the plane. So I like these for the plane, but to work out, and I asked for them so I could use them to work out because I want like cause it's total zone in. Like I don't want to hear nothing but whatever I'm blasting. The thing is though, is that the padding is so <laughs> the mats. The padding is so small and it kind of hurts my ears after a while. So I think I'm gonna keep these, but I'm gonna have to purchase the ones that are bigger that kind of go around your entire ear. And people are saying like, oh, these aren't water resistant, but honestly, I haven't seen a problem because um, I don't sweat that much up here. I don't really have that issue, but after a while, and I like to be in the gym at least an hour. So after an hour, they, they really start to hurt my ears. I saw some that, I don't know, maybe I'll insert a picture here. I saw some of these. So if you guys have those, please let me know. I'm definitely not buying those Apple ones. Shy, please. First of all, I only have one AirPod. I'm hanging on by a thread, okay? Don't know where it's at. Only one of them beeped. The other one is nowhere to be found. So anywho, I'm gonna stop chatting. Gonna head to the gym. And then I'm gonna order some tacos, baby. I'm so excited. I'm gonna vlog that too, y'all know I love to show y'all my food. <laughs> but somebody was on the elliptical and there's only two of them here and he was there and I was like ah, it's too close for comfort so I honestly think I might do the elliptical just to warm up my arms again um yeah <laughs> I'm so out of shape and it's all my fault um 
But yeah, maybe I'll do 20 minutes on the elliptical instead because I don't have, hold up. I don't have the right shoes I have on my chucks. And the treadmill is kind of rough on my feet. Um, so I'll do 20 minutes on the elliptical. Usually on the treadmill, I'll do an incline, like level 10 out of 20. And then um, the pace or whatever is like 4.0. I'll do that for 20 minutes and I'll make sure it's on hill. I'll do the same thing on the elliptical um, and then I will head out. I'm hungry. And then something about hot steamy showers it's gonna get you right every time every time clearly i just got out the shower um aka my sauna and i'm waiting on my food it's like five minutes away just perfect timing perfect timing i'm going to um do some quick skincare I can't believe my pickup is four o'clock in the morning. I'm scared. <laughs> like, I gotta go to bed early too, cause it's my first day back in the gym. So like, my body is gonna be, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, a uh, mess. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could tell you all about my day. It was fine. My crew is cool. I'm working with this girl that I worked with before. We can never remember what trip we worked together. But um, I just remember having a good time. So she's cool. She's my assist. Um, but yeah, everything was good. It was just one leg to Denver. Everybody was chilling. People blowing up the bathroom as usual. Oh, this. Um, but I'm definitely getting stuffy again. I really hope it's just allergies because I ain't got the time to be sick. I really don't like, I'm trying to get this sh money, okay? And they offer an incentive pay on the weekends, like, hmm, girl, bye. I'm excited for these tacos, for real. Like, I really am. Have y'all tried this? I bought this to do for, um, to, what is this called? <laughs> to condition my hair tomorrow. I was gonna do it today, but I don't feel like doing none of that. Like, I'm out the shower already, I'm not. We're done, we're finished. Uh, so I'll do that tomorrow. It says it's better if you use a, if you use a, why am I lost for words? Cause probably because I'm hungry. If you use a hairdryer or something. So I do have a shower cap and I may just, you know, around for 20 minutes. See how soft it makes my hair. It's definitely growing. I could tell you that much. It's definitely giving growth. It's giving hang time. I think I cut it like shoulder length in February. I know it's just past my shoulders, so that's good. Like I never want to cut my hair again. I'll trim it, but ooh, not a booger. But yeah, my hair was so long and I was just like, wow. And I think I don't really realize how long it is because I'm so used to it just every day until I look back at old pictures and I'm like, girl, you had that part of fashion all hang time. You had that whoop de whoop that wop wop. I'll leave my hair alone. I'm not dying it anymore. I really like it jet black, but I'ma just chill out probably until fall and then I'll dye it jet black. I never really have problems dyeing it black um, as far as growth and stuff and breakage is usually fine, but what really screwed up my hair, oh God, my ears probably just popped. What really screwed up my hair is when I bleached it. Ooh. Red, ooh. And the sun attacked it bad. That's why I had to cut it, cause child, it was a mess. It wasn't enough these in the world. Like, it said shambles, shambles. Okay, so the tacos have arrived. I have the tripod set up in an odd way, but this is the best way um, <laughs> that I could get the angle without it being awkward or weird. So uh, let's see. 
Do people do unboxings of food? I feel like, like I, okay, so please don't judge me. It was buy one, get one free. So I actually had eight tacos. Uh, and I was like, well, that's cool. Cause then I'll have food for tomorrow and then I'll be done for the trip. Like I'm not gonna, cause I have one meal and then I have some breakfast food in my bag already. So I won't have to worry about food for the rest of the trip. Like I should be good to go. Ooh, I love me some sauce. All right, y'all. Let's see what she's looking like. Let's see what she's looking like. Ooh, ooh, they got the roasted jalapeno. Bruh. Bruh. I haven't had a roasted jalapeno in so long. Oh, ooh, wait, wait. Oh, y'all. That right there? Wait. Wait, because what we're not going to do is play ourselves. <laughs> I do not want to stay in this. Ow. Do not want to stain this at all because I ain't paying for it if it's stained. Ooh, ooh, y'all, I'm so excited. These smell and look so good. <sighs> Come on, okay. <sighs> so there's cheese in them too at the bottom. Yo. Wait, 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 I gotta get the limit. I gotta get the limit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, ho. Can y'all tell I'm a foodie? Can you tell, oh. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm a foodie? I'm not even sitting down, like I'm so excited. I'm not gonna move the camera because it's gonna be way too hard to keep the angle right, but listen, this shit just changed my life. Like I'm so hungry. I think I'm gonna cry. I think I'm gonna cry for real. Ooh, this smells good. What's this one? This one looks like real hot sauce. This shit looks like pepper pea. I don't know. Ow, it's like a... Woo! Yeah! That is pepper pea, okay? <laughs> that shit is hot. <laughs> mm -mm, I need my esophagus. Okay, I can fuck with this one. I can fuck with this one. I usually do like spicy food, don't get me wrong, but this grease and that spice, and I'm already congested, hell, it might help, honestly, but I used to get ulcers when I was little. Can't be messing around with that, and I'm gonna have one of these jalapenos, so I can't overdo it. Oh my God. And I'm not used to having like a whole lot of red meat. My body doesn't agree with it, but my taste buds do. Y'all, I'm in heaven. This is it right here. I'm good for the rest of the night. I am good for the rest. And this cheese? I am so deserving of this meal right now. Like, I don't think y'all understand. I spent money on some nasty food a couple days back. And this is making up for it. Mm. All right. Let me set y'all up so I can talk to you right quick. All right. I know the lighting is not that great, but y'all just got to bear with me because there's a whole lot of mess over there. I'm not gonna put that on camera. Y'all not gonna, uh, 
y'all not gonna talk about me i'm just nervous because if you know you know flying with congestion that shit will have you crying like it is painful like very painful so i'm trying to get ahead of the game i bought have y'all ever tried these i got them from target i got a ginger cayenne probiotic shot i used to make this at home i need to start making it again but this is just because i didn't have any i got pineapple orange detox i'm trying to get stuff that i that tastes good and i got the forbidden apple cider vinegar i do not want to take this but i know that it's going to be good for me so i honestly might take this tonight <laughs> i hate apple cider vinegar i hate the smell I hate the taste. I hate the way the bottle look. I hate everything. But I know it's good for me. So I'm just going to suck it up and take it before I go to bed. And I'm going to take some, uh, what is that? The nighttime sinus. Hey, and don't sleep on Target brand stuff because it's the same thing. Like, it's the same thing. It really is. Especially like the scar cream. So, you know, Mederma is like super expensive. Well, in my book, it's expensive for that little tiny tube. No. So I got the Up and Up brand and I mix it with my moisturizer and I've seen a big difference in my acne scars. Um, of course, coupled with uh, sunscreen, but I've seen a big difference. So don't sleep on that Up and Up brand stuff. It's the same thing. They just getting y'all for the name, honestly. They really are. Uh, what else I wanna tell y'all? Oh. If y'all looking for a new body moisturizer, let me put y'all on real quick. This shit right here? The ashiest person alive cannot stand up to this. This shit will have you so moisturized. You'll be good for the rest of the day and night. And night. I don't know about after the shower. But all jokes aside, like this is bomb as hell. It is so moisturizing and it doesn't leave you greasy. You know, sometimes body butters or what is this deep nourishing cling. Sometimes it leaves you with that greasy, like filmy stuff. And this is not even sponsored or anything. I promise you, like I use, I just bought this and it's almost gone. Like I dipped through the middle. So you can't really see like how far deep it is. But I just bought this and it's filled to the top when you buy it. Got it from Target and it smells fresh so men and women can use it. It is God's scent. Changed my life for real. Like I love it. I will continue to buy this for the rest of my life. And it goes good with my perfumes that I put on. Oh, excuse me. So please. Oh, and if you're a flight attendant or you travel like travel a lot, please use these. Please use these on your toothbrush. Please, one more time, please use these for your toothbrush and change them out. For real, like change them out. Don't, don't, how often are you supposed to change them out? Every 30 days? Oh, three months. Hmm. I would go with two months. Please, that'll change your life. Shout out to my mom for putting me on. Honestly, even if you don't travel, you should use those. And keeps your toothbrush sanitized. Because y'all know, like, if your toothbrush is just out, like, when y'all shit and pee and all that, all them, all that bacteria be in the air. And it gathers on your toothbrush. So, just say. <clears throat> this is just. This is just so good. I don't know, like, I just feel blessed and highly favored in this moment. I mean, every day I do, but, like, especially in this moment. I feel loved. I feel protected. I feel looked after. Mm. I'm gonna stop chatting because I really ain't got shit else to say. I'll probably come back on here before I go to bed. I got some phone calls to return. 
I don't need nobody cussing me out because I ain't caught him back. So. I either hit y'all up again tonight. Not hit y'all up like I'm calling y'all. Um, or I will see you tomorrow when I get to Indianapolis. Bye. Hey, y'all. Um, good news is I have the files from the vlogs that I've already edited and they're in the app, but the, the edited videos are not downloading to my phone. So it's there, like the three videos that I have so far, the three vlogs are there. I just can't get them to download to my phone um and that's literally what i've been trying to do for the past hour like it's it's frustrating as hell and now i see why people just get cameras and memory cards because this is so time consuming like i could have finished the vlog that i've been i just started today i could have been editing that this whole time so i'm gonna try one more time and honestly the vlog that i was trying to upload it was only 35 minutes like I have it all edited all I need to do is just like add the music and the little extra stuff but as far as like clips and stuff like that all that is already done so I just I really don't want to go through and piece together all the footage and redo it because I'm sure that I liked it the way that I had already edited so I'm just <sighs> y'all YouTube girls and guys more power to you i'm not ready to buy a camera yet uh but if i keep having this issue like i might as well just go ahead and get a camera like i just i don't trust myself with a camera yet first of all i don't even know which one to get okay number two i think i'm gonna take that immunity, immunity shot edit these clips put them all together and then try to go to bed early because pickup is at four girl and I don't care what nobody say. That body clock bullshit. No, it's still like uh -huh. a.m. So, like I said, good news is we got one flight to Atlanta, and then we did head Atlanta to Indy. So it's gonna be—it's not gonna be too bad. But that first flight's gonna be brutal. I'm not even gonna lie. It's, it's gonna be brutal, girl. Shout out to the edges. You know what I'm gonna do in the morning? I am going to show y'all how to do my edges. I can't remember if I showed y'all in a previous vlog because guess who can't see that footage? Because it won't download. So I'm gonna do it again. That's like my therapy in the morning and I really take my time because I want my edges laid. Like this is after a shower. This is after a workout. Am I was still on duty? <laughs> Still on duty. So, anywho, I'm gonna stop rambling and I guess I will see you guys in the morning. Listen, I'm exhausted. I don't feel good. So, I just realized I didn't even show y'all my, my, uh, nothing. And as you can see, like my eyes are watery, my nose is kind of red. <laughs> I got to Indy and I didn't even mean to fall asleep. And here I am waking up. What time is it? 8.49. I don't even remember falling asleep. Didn't go to the gym. I do feel a little bit better. I had some ramen before I went to sleep. And um, that actually helped clear up my sinuses a lot because, of course, I put hot sauce in it. So that helped. Um, snot is still clear, so that's good. But yeah, I just ordered some food from the restaurant downstairs. I got cheesy chicken enchiladas and shrimp and grits. I don't know who I think I am, I'm like, but I'm hungry. I can tell you that much. So yeah, it was really chilly and um, rainy in Indianapolis, so I didn't go outside. I didn't do any of that. I literally just ate the ramen and out of a cup <laughs> and um fell asleep by accident so 
the gym is 24 hours am i crazy enough to go in the morning pickup is 5 55 a.m and we have three flights tomorrow so where do we go we go to i think minneapolis and then minneapolis orlando and then orlando back to new york good news is there's no sits so it's gonna be kind of a long day but i should be done by 6 p.m but um yeah i'm watching restaurant impossible and let me tell you chef gets these people to gather gathers the out of them okay and i want to retire on a food truck so this is crooked yes it is i want to retire on a food truck so i'm kind of paying attention because i'm like they're making a lot of mistakes um but yeah anyway i guess i will show y'all my food when i get it i heard raving reviews so please let it be good okay so here is the shrimp and grits and then the cheesy enchiladas unfortunately i cannot have avocado um really messes up my stomach now avocados and bananas don't know why but yeah let's see let's see i'm hungry all right so y'all may hear a little bit of the tv in the background that's because i'm watching beating bobby flay One of my new favorite hotel room shows, besides anything on HGTV, honestly. Okay, shrimp and grits first. So it has corn, bacon, tomato. <laughs> this looks like a big onion. Uh, let's see, there's a lot more gravy than grits, I can tell you that. It'll do. I mean, it's not like southern shrimp and grits, but I'm not really picky when it comes to gravies and carbs, so. I do like mine a little bit more on the spicy side. And I ordered this because I thought it would be spicy. Help my sinuses. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. These shrimp are huge. There's a huge like firefighters convention going on in Indy right now. I'll take it. I like when the shrimp is not overcooked and tough. Ugh. That's the worst. And if you buy your shrimp pre-cooked, stop playing yourself. Shrimp does not take that long to cook. You are truly playing yourself with that. Like, don't do that. Today I learned <clears throat> from my coworker, she, she's Chinese, and she was, girl, wait, why y'all ain't tell me? <laughs> this is how I went downstairs and sat and wait for my food. Girl, that's probably why they were looking at me like, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Anyway, so my coworker is Chinese and she was telling me I pulled out a pack of ramen and she was like, no, you do not have that basic ass ramen for food. And I was like, yeah, like it's cheap, it's quick, it's something to hold me over, you know what I'm saying? She's like, no, so she was showing me the real ramen that I should get. And she was saying like how much she likes it, like her, she likes her food piping hot. And I was like, I don't like it way too hot because then I can't taste my food. And she was like, it's like a respect to the chef like a sign of respect if you slurp your ramen while you eat it and i was like really because i can't stand like the slurping the smacking especially smacking on your food Ooh, that drives me nuts but she was like what is smacking and so i was like <laughs> she was like oh no but like um slurping your ramen is a sign of respect and i was like I learn something new every day, child. That's one thing I like about this job, too. You get to fly with a lot of people from different walks of life, different countries, 
all kind of stuff and you get to learn so much like just through a simple conversation okay enchiladas let's see i don't think i've ever had enchiladas i usually get like chimichangas or burritos This is really good. This is really good. This makes me want to save this for tomorrow's lunch. And before y'all come for me, I was going to save my Bria tacos. I hope I'm saying that right. Bria, Bria tacos for uh, tomorrow's lunch. Editing Jay here. Bria, Bria. Say it with me, girl. Bria, Bria. Anything happen today? Oh, and we got to Indianapolis. Y'all, we called the van and the girl's like, hey, he'll be in there in a couple minutes. Okay, cool. 10 minutes go by. Nobody has showed up. Cause I'm butting my pants. <sighs> Nobody has showed up. I'm like, okay, should we call again? So another girl calls. And she's pretty much giving her the runaround. Then another 10 minutes goes by and the guy pulls up. So we go to the van and he's like, no, I'm only taking pilots. And I was like, well, we just called and she said that you were pulling up soon. So apparently you taking us too. And he was like, no, I'm only taking your pilots. And I was like, we don't have pilots because we deadheaded. So it was just the crew. And the other crew was from Atlanta and they were going back to Atlanta. So we don't have pilots. Now there could have been pilots from another flight or something, but we have no way of looking at that. Like they have all the information. So I called, so he, he starts getting angry and he's like, no, no, no. And then he starts ignoring us. And we're asking him like, okay, so is there somebody else coming? Is like, what's going on? And so the crew member, I don't know who he was on the phone with or whatever, but the crew member, one of my crew members was like, is it a yes or a no? Because number one, it's cold as hell outside. And you're just standing there and you're not responding to anything. Like you argued with us and then you stopped talking to us and you're on the phone with God knows who, not giving us any updates. We've been standing here for like five minutes trying to figure out what's going on. He goes like this to the crew member say you know what yeah let's go back to the curb we're gonna go back to the curb i got on the phone again with the transportation company and here's the thing they didn't even know who was driving that van she was like is it i don't need let's call him bob is that bob tell him to take you guys i said number one i don't know who he is because he's not answering any of our questions and he's not being helpful number two i'm not telling him we tried to tell him he's refusing to take us and i'm not going to sit here and tell him that you said to take us i don't even you don't even know who's driving the van and that's what freaked me out so i was like listen at this point i don't feel safe going with him anywhere because he can't even communicate properly what's going on or what pilots and he's like i don't know if he said something about united pilots or something but he won't even communicate with me that is the basic level of respect i said no i'm not we're not doing this so Something else needs to happen. So I told her the van number. I hear her on the radio trying to talk to him. Chat, it was a mess. And she was like, hold on, let me get my supervisor. And I could tell she was really trying, you know, because she was like, what do you mean he won't take you? Why, why is he refusing? I'm like, I don't know. This man gets in the van, locks the door, puts the windows up doesn't talk to anybody gets in the van and sits down i said you know what i've had enough <laughs> mind you your job is to come get us that's it that's it and when he was like your pilots i'm like we don't have any pilots it's just us child the phone goes out again I said, all right. So my crew member was like, I'm ordering an Uber and I'll just expense it. And I was like, all right. So we waited around a little bit longer. And when the Uber said it was like, you know, two, three minutes away, I called just to tell them, hey, 
you know, we're getting an Uber. So whatever y'all got going on, is dead to us, really, because we're done. And there was an airport employee that was trying to help us out that works here all the time, like in the parking lot area. And she was like, um, he was basically giving her the runaround too. And he didn't know what he was talking about. And I said, honestly, it's fine. Like the mere fact that you can't place a driver to the van number that I'm giving you is a problem in itself. How, as a transportation company, do you not know who's driving what van? It may be a thing where they don't know who's picking up who because fights change all the time. I get that part. But you're asking me what the guy's name is? Do you even know if he's legit? Did he just steal this van? You know what I'm saying? Like, was there a switch? Like, what's going on? How do you not know? I'm giving you the number of the van, the information, all this shit, and you're asking me. And then she was like, well, we're sitting another driver out there. Um, he'll be there shortly. I said, we already called an Uber. We've been out here for 40 minutes past our flight time when you just said it was a couple of minutes and it still took him longer than usual. There was no traffic, no nothing. So like, what's going on? And I kept telling her, I said, no, we don't feel safe with this guy. We don't even know him. And then on top of that, you're telling me to go bang on the, on the window to tell him to open the door and to tell him that you said to take us. I'm not doing that. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know how he's going to react. And then you want us to get in the van with him after he's so rude to us and completely ignores us. What if he has anger issues and drives us off the side of the highway? I don't have the time. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So the lady's like, no, please don't don't use the Uber. Like, you're going to want to um, ride with Isaac. You're going to want to ride with him. He's really good about Isaac, okay? Because if he was so good, his ass should have been here waiting on us. So, we get the Uber. They never call me back. They don't call and say, hey, where are you guys? She was like, no, no, no. Oh, and then she was like, and he'll probably get, he'll probably beat the Uber there too. He's really good. Like, you'll be fine. Don't take the Uber. He'll be there in a second. And I was like, well, I'll consult with my crew and see what they want to do. She's like, no, no, no. He'll be there. Just take the van. I said, girl, all right. Hung up the phone, got in the Uber because he pulled up right after that. And I never got a phone call for them. Hey, did everything work out? Are you guys actually picked up? What's going on? None of that. So I said, this is some shady shit. I don't I don't know what y'all got going on but i'm so happy we did not wait for that van because clearly it's an issue just a mess for real like and for it to be cold too like don't want to stand out there in the cold waiting on y'all to get y'all asses together like what i know one thing they skipped me on this um on these grits though they could have put a little bit more in this bowl. This morning was brutal as promised. What can I say? Four o'clock pickup. Oh, that first class ran me ragged. Let me tell y'all something. If you are flying and there is a meal being offered in your selective class and you're allergic to something, you need to let your flight attendant know that you're allergic to something. It doesn't matter if you think it's in the food or not. Because who's the one with the allergy? Who is the one that is potentially going to die if you eat a certain food? Okay. All right. First of all, just asking people what they wanted to eat was like pulling teeth. I speak loud enough for three rows to hear me when I say the options that we have. So why is it, even with headphones on, because the headphones that link up to the TV, not that loud. So even with the headphones on, you can hear me because I how I know is that people look up when I speak because they can hear me talking. 
even people without headphones, they're listening in if they have a brain because they know that I'm coming to them next. So I had to repeat myself at almost every single row. I'm like, yo, you just heard the options. I just told the window person, you are the aisle person and you're asking me what we have, but you were looking at me speaking the entire time and you don't have headphones on. Why am I having to repeat myself? I don't speak fast because I know that I would have to repeat myself. Then I go to lay the linen. Nobody has their tray table out. Half the people are sleeping. How do you order something and then go to sleep? If you order something with me, especially if it's, even if it's just a drink, even in main cabin when I'm on the cart and I literally ask you what you want, turn to the cart, make it and turn back and you are sleeping? That means you didn't even want it in the first place because you can't even stay up enough to consume what you asked for. What the fuck? So anyway, nobody has their tray table out. I'm like, yo, you take out your tray table. This lady is asleep, like passed out. It was just two minutes ago. Like it wasn't even that long ago. You just want it because it's there. You don't want it because you necessarily want it. So anyway. I'm having to wake people up. I drop the food. As soon as I drop the food at this lady's seat, I go back to the galley to get the other food. And a lot of people order coffee, which is fine. I know it's an early morning flight, so everybody's gonna want coffee. But it kind of messes me up when I'm delivering food because I only have two hands and I'm not putting a hot coffee mug on a tray to give to a passenger. I'm gonna have the tray in one hand and the hot coffee in the other. And they like to grab the mug. And I'm like, no, don't grab it because it's hot. And what you're not gonna do is grab it and drop it and blame it on me or whatever you decide to come up with and make it my fault. No, this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to place it and you are going to wait. That's it. So that took a little bit longer than usual because usually I deliver two trays at a time and I can get done faster. Didn't really care about that. I dropped this lady's food. She ordered oatmeal and it comes with pistachios on top. So drop the food go to the galley ding i'm like i'm ignoring that because i'm still preparing the tray prepare the tray take it to the next person she's like dramatic as fuck i can't i didn't know there were nuts on here i'm allergic to nuts now I understand if you don't know that it comes with some with a type of nut but what do you usually get with oatmeal as toppings sugar maybe like some dried cranberry or something and some kind of nut and if it's a nut allergy why is it not in your reservation also if it's a nut allergy why didn't you freaking tell me that you're allergic to nuts you did not prepare this food. You don't know whose hand was in it. Like, what the hell? Why wouldn't you tell me that? This is your allergy. Editing Jay here. So, I'm watching this footage. And I can't miss an opportunity to check myself. I could have told the lady that the goddamn oatmeal had pistachios on it. I could have told her. I could have told her. I could have told her. But I didn't. So this is partly my fault. Two things can be true, though, because if you're allergic to something, you need to tell people. And then thirdly, I had other option that she could eat. Like if she would have told me, hey, I'm allergic to nuts. Do you have anything that's nut free? I would have gave her the quiche and she would have had something sustainable to eat. But now all you have is this little tiny bowl of fruit. I gave her an extra fruit bowl because that's all I had because somebody else didn't eat. But imagine if everybody ate, she would only have that little bowl and whatever's in our snack basket. And now you're looking at me crazy because you don't have anything to eat. You know, I just, I don't understand people sometimes. I really don't. And then the entitlement be crazy. Like double ding happened. Made my announcement. I got up. I'm literally not even five minutes in to pulling the carts out and setting up my galley. This lady comes behind me, over my shoulder, 
Can I just grab that Coke right there? Why do you need a Coke at 6 a.m.? Why is it such a dire emergency? No, 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 the whole can. All right, girl. All right. And why do you think it's okay to try to reach over me and grab something when I'm clearly standing in front of both carts, the food cart and the drink cart? And you're like, I, I just, like, come on, bro. If you needed a Coke that bad, you could have bought one yourself and you could have had it with you if you really need a Coke that bad. I can see if it was water or something, which you had two bottles of at your seat that you didn't touch. They will be ragged today. And it's like, I like to work alone up there because I have a flow. And I try to be very proactive in the questions that I ask and how I do service because it's easier on me. That's why I don't be wanting no help because people are counterproductive. So I don't be wanting no extra help. People be in my way. Anywho, I think that's all my ranting. I don't really have much else. I'm gonna finish my food. I'm gonna watch my show. It's cold in here. And I'm gonna go to bed. Cause I'm tired. Says the girl that's been sleeping all day, but I'm tired for real, like. Anyway. I'll talk to y'all when I get home. I can close out this vlog. I'm thinking about doing vlogs for however long my trip is because the footage that I already have is an hour already. And, like, I just can't have y'all sitting here. Unless y'all want to sit here and watch me talk shit and just talk all day. I didn't really do much on this vlog, so. Whatever. Good news is my footage finally downloaded from my old vlog. Yay! So... I can start working on that soon. But other than that, I'm chilling for the rest of the night. Also, can we just talk about how nasty this is? This is the second cup that I've put in here. I use this, well, I tried to use the coffee pot to make hot water for my ramen earlier. The first, came, first cup came out like this. This is the second cup. Like there's nothing in there. Cause it's like one of these where it comes with the pod that you stick in that slot. So it's like, what is that? Y'all just be careful. I would run these coffee machines at least one time if you use them. But good news is I had a coil. And the coil, um, you pretty much, it's like an immersion heater. So you put it in the, oh, this is loud. You put it in the liquid and it brings it to a boil. So that's how I had it. I just use my immersion thing. Cause like, <laughs> that's nasty. That. And there, it's different colors. Like, I don't know what that is. Anyway, sorry to gross y'all out, but just be weary of these coffee makers. Okay? Okay. So, I'm in Nashville. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but it never freaking fails. Every time I've had a long, exhausting, exhausting day, like, my body literally feels like I'm about to just, like, crumble. My sheets are always dirty. Let's take a look. Let me turn off the light. Also, there's a concert going on outside. We'll get to that as well. But like, come on, bro. Like, what is that? You can see the stain and it's like made a ring. Of a <laughs> like, shout out to the bed being so big. And it looks comfortable, but like, come on. Why? Why? Some people don't, lighting's gonna suck for a second. Um, some people don't understand why I do this, but it's, every flight attendant has their thing. This is my thing, so. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. Hi, I was calling to see if you guys had um, extra sheets. Mine are actually dirty. Oh, okay. Um, let me get you to the front desk for assistance. Okay, thank you. Disney Springs area. Opening I 
press the front desk button. But okay. Hi, I was calling to see if you guys had extra sheets available. Mine are dirty. Uh, or do you want me to switch your room for something? Honestly, I kind of already unpacked all my stuff. I should have checked my bed first, honestly. I'm so sorry about that. No, it, it happens. I'm... I will have someone actually take care of that right now for you. I do apologize. Okay, thank you. I appreciate right. it. Bye-bye. Well, at least they offered to switch a child because <laughs> it's just our man's like... Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that. <sighs> so... Mm -mm. I don't know. Sometimes I show them with my black light and they think I'm crazy. And then sometimes they just come and switch without any questions asked. So honestly, I don't know. Let me just take these sheets off. So all they have to do is put the new ones on. Cause I don't need them in my room for too long. Honestly, I got a lot to say. I don't think I'm going to come back to Nashville. We'll talk in a second. One second. Y'all. He came to change the sheets. Such a sweet guy, so nice, so kind. He's from the Caribbean. I should have checked them before he left. Let me just, let me just show y'all because I have no words. And I know it's not his fault because he's not the housekeeping person. Just one second. Y'all are not ready. Oh my God, it's not even coming up on camera, so now I look crazy. Uh, yes it is. Do you see that big ass? <laughs> oh my God, wait. I don't even know if you can see it. Oh my God, it's huge, it's everywhere. Like, do you see that? I just, it's all up here. Like these sheets are gross. <laughs> They're gross. There's so much worse than the first ones. I should have just. Oh my God. I'm exhausted. Like I'm so tired. And I just. I wish y'all could see this in real life because. Hold on. Should I put the brightness up or down? I don't know. Like, I hope y'all can see all that because it looks crazy in person right now. Like, I can't even. I can't. I can't. I can't. Like, what is that? What is all of that? I just. Let me put the brightness back up. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. At this point, I'm just going to sleep on top of the covers because the duvet was clean. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn the light on, sorry, stop. <laughs> the duvet was clean. Maybe I'll just take these sheets off. And oh my God, you could tell he was so uncomfortable because he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, like, you know, I know you probably really want your bed to be clean. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, you sound sick. I was like, I have a sinus infection. <laughs> So, oh, I can't even put, cause it touched. Okay, 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 okay. Dear Lord. So here's what we're gonna do. Cause I did this, I had to do this in Seattle. What we're gonna do is, we'll take the queen sheets, take the duvet, remember what side it was touching the dirty thing on. We're just gonna have to take this off. I'm like delirious at this point. And they're like, do you want to switch rooms? And I, I learned my lesson from Seattle. If I switch rooms and that is dirty too, and I pack up all my shit and I go, I'm going to be livid like I was in Seattle. So livid that I was laughing and I was quiet. So, no, no, I learned. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. And I'm not the girl to bring my own sheets. I'm I'm just not that girl. I will never be that girl. There's girls out there like that and more power to you. 
but I can't fit anything else in this bag. Why am I like this? Why can't I just go to sleep like everyone else? Like, why do I have to care? Why do I have to care about, why is this such a big deal? And I'm not like invalidating what I'm doing. It's just shit like this. Like tonight, I'm fucking exhausted. Like I want to go to bed. I want to shower and I want to go to sleep. Like now. But I will not, I cannot just get in the bed. I, I can't, I have to check it. Every time. Every time. But anywho, let me go ahead and dish about Nashville real quick. First of all, half of the people didn't speak to me when they came on board. That's fine. It's giving West Palm Beach. Um, and then we get to Nashville and the... Um, they are having a blast. I can't even be mad at them. Um, get to Nashville and the van driver gets out and the way we're walking towards the van is like we're walking from the front of the van to the back. So she meets us around back and I'm one of the last, last ones to kind of come around. And so when she sees me, she goes, <sighs> I'm like, what the fuck was that about? But I'm the only one that looks like me on my crew. Okay, so what? Like you looked at me dead in my eyes in high side. What the fuck was that about? You didn't do that to anyone else. I go, hello, you know, I, you don't even lift in my bag. I put my bag in the thing myself, like everybody else did. You don't respond to me, but you talk to everybody else. Okay. So then we get in the van and my crew member's like, oh, you want to sit in the front? Like, you know, go ahead and sit in the front. You have an extra bag. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. So I sit in the front. My heart, I don't know. It was just like racing like this bitch. I don't know. Like I just felt her energy. Like what the fuck is her problem? So I don't say one word the entire ride to the hotel, which is like a solid 20 minutes because there's so much traffic because of all this stuff going on. And so, and my crew's cool. Like everybody's cool, the captains are cool, everybody's cool, or pilots or whatever, like they're all chill. So they noticed that I wasn't talking. And so when we got out, um, I was the first one out and I opened the side door for everybody to get out. And so she slings my bag on the ground and I'm like, what the fuck, you know what? I'm done, like my little, tote bag or whatever and I caught the the very end of it because she didn't I guess she didn't think I saw her or whatever I was just very I was like no this bitch didn't so then she takes my bag out and I went to give her my dollar I was like thank you so much completely ignores me complete doesn't say shit and it's only me and her back there so I know she heard me right snatches the dollar out of my hand okay it's only a dollar take the funky ass dollar I don't care whatever the other crew members come grabbing their stuff. And mind you, the entire time coming down here, she's a key key can with everybody else, telling them all about this, that, and downtown and what's going on and the topless uh, party buses and stuff like that and all that crap. And I don't, I do not converse with her because I felt her energy as soon as I walked, as soon as I came around the van, she saw me and gave me that dirty ass. <sighs> That's okay. And it's like not something that anybody else would notice. You know what I mean? Like if you're black, you notice. If you're brown, you're gonna notice. Like. Everybody else does not notice because they're... Okay, so anyway. <sighs> Other people get their stuff. They're all like, oh, thank you. She's like, oh, how's, how's that? You're welcome. You're... I had a, at that point, I had already walked into the hotel. I was like, I'm not... I'm done with her. Like, she can kiss my ass, actually. Because there's no reason for that. Like, bro, we're in 2022, okay? You're driving for airline personnel. Who, like what anyway I'm over it so then I didn't realize that our freaking rooms as soon as I walked into the room I was like oh that shit is loud the concert hall oh I don't even know if you can see it oh that's me hold on <laughs> oh my camera's dirty 
is right there. You can't see it, yeah, right there. And the music was streaming that way. So well, not streaming, but playing out that way. So all of that, like right there. All the traffic, all the traffic, everything's being controlled by police. They're not even using the traffic lights. This is a huge ass parking lot here. And it's not connected to the hotel. This is a different parking lot just for events and stuff, I guess. Like, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. So, although the hotel has like great amenities and like people are nice and stuff as far as the hotel staff, the vibes on the flight and the vibes from that van driver i was like i can't this is the type of shit that will make me avoid this layover altogether that same thing with west palm beach any honestly anything in tennessee and anything in south florida miami is different miami is its own beast like that's that doesn't count but everything else like i'm like yo i'm not about to be somewhere where i'm uncomfortable for real like that's that's weak. And then on top of that, my freaking bed was dirty. <laughs> just, just, just. <laughs> anyway, done complaining about Nashville. My day was okay. Oh, can we talk about how I never even finished off that vlog? I woke up at 525. My pickup was 555. Did not have time to talk to y'all. Did not have time to show y'all these edges. I'll try to show y'all tomorrow because our pickup is at 3... 340 or something like that in the afternoon so I'll really have time to vlog and I'll probably start off vlog two then because this is just way too long I think this is going on I gotta cut out some stuff because this, this is a long ass vlog and I don't even know if y'all fuck with me like that y'all fuck with me like that I don't know maybe I'll talk about my day in the next vlog let's do that let's start a new one tomorrow we're gonna start fresh tomorrow and I'll tell you about all today all of my schedule today tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was full of rants, honestly. 